What's going on everyone, Captain Horn here. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. I hope you enjoy watching and maybe even learn a thing or two from this video. Before we begin, if you would like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes less than 5 seconds and it would greatly help my channel out. If you are interested in supporting myself and my channel, be sure to check out the different tiers in my Patreon for different rewards. If you are interested in becoming an active member in my community, or would like to find others to fly with in Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to join my Discord. The link to both my Patreon and Discord are in the description. Let's get right into this video. Hello guys and welcome back to another Captain Horn 23 Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. Um, it's been a while since I posted actually. Uh, the last time I posted was like two weeks ago in September. And the main reason for that is because there was just an abundant amount of bugs currently in the simulator. And I have not even flew anywhere in the simulator for about three weeks now because of the crazy amount of bugs, but I'm happy to announce that there has been a release on this day, October the 13th, 2020. It is release notes 1.9.5.0, and we are going to go over them and check it out in the game. So let's get right okay, so into this So it looks like video. it's not too big of an update, but hopefully it fixes some of the main bugs that a lot of people, were, including me, were experiencing. So let's go over this real quick. So with the planes, the VFR map should no longer crash the title during a flight. That was a big issue. I never experienced it, but that was an issue. If you open the VFR map, it would just crash to desktop. Avionic screens or buttons in the cockpit should no longer be turned off randomly. <clears throat> hmm, that's interesting. I haven't had that issue either, but I guess they had to fix it. And I, I have actually heard people say they've had that issue before, where some buttons would just randomly go off like a ghost was in there. Like it says there in the parentheses, ghost cockpit. And we've got crashes related to the use of the smart camera have been fixed. Alright, that's very nice. Airports. The nav blue navigation data has been updated. That is excellent because I remember the active database was like from May to July of this year, which was way out of date. So that's wonderful that they have updated the navigation database. Some things with the UI here, the version history is now properly displayed in the marketplace. Multiple simultaneous downloads in the content manager are better handled to prevent crashes or freezes. The packages downloaded through the content manager should now be correctly loaded without requiring a reboot of the title. And the airport icons in the world map have been modified. That all sounds excellent to me. Aerodynamic wise, the autopilot pitch os oscillation has been reduced on some planes. Um, I hope that fixes the issue with like flight level change and just it pitching up a, a ridiculous amount or uh, pitching down a ridiculous amount. Uh, we're going to find out once we get into the game. Activity multiplayer has been deactivated in the Japan Discovery flight. That's weird. Don't know why they do that. Marketplace quality of life updates for the marketplace and with the world auto gem buildings heights have been reviewed. And whatever 10 luminance is for those areas. Alright guys, so that is the update. It's actually kind of short. I didn't expect it to be that small. I was hoping it'd be a large update. But we are per pushing towards a almost perfect simulator and hopefully there's no more bugs. And hopefully this update didn't announce like 10,000 new bugs that we've never seen before. But for now, let's go into the game and go over these bugs and see if they have actually been fixed and what else I can find. Alright guys, we're now in the game and I'm in the Airbus A320NX by uh, the fly-by-wire people. And wow, let me just say, they've added a lot, like this takeoff configuration and everything, that's great. Anyway, um, let's go over the changelog and see what has changed and see if any bugs are still present within the simulator. So first of all, opening the VFR map is perfectly fine. As we see here, I can do it multiple times and I'm not crashing. That is great. Another aspect of the update claims that it fixed the nav blue navigation database it updated it but if we look at our mcdu down here it still says active nav database from 4th of may to the 4th of july which is what it's always said so that doesn't appear to be fixed which is interesting another thing i just heard thunder and it is not okay there's lightning for you what it is not raining it's just a partly cloudy day here in charlotte that's a little straight all right guys another issue i've noticed i don't think this is with the simulator this is actually just with the a320 uh by the fly by wire people but if you notice when i try to enter a route here kclt to kclt and then enter it nothing happens same way with the flight number if i put dow 623 and nothing happens so that's interesting anyway for now we're going to take off and try to um 
see the improvements with the autopilot and I'm just going to try to go up to 15,000 feet at 200 knots and just see what happens so um, let's go ahead and throttle up got our parking brake on all right we're good now clear that message all right here we go I'm just gonna to use toga because why not um, whoa what is with that okay that was weird I didn't even pull the rudder to the left like that oh there it goes again oh my god that's weird anyway let's go ahead and rotate out of here oh wow those sounds I've never heard those sounds before that's really interesting all right, let's get our gear up. Dang, okay, well, I don't... Wow, the people that made this, the fly-by-wire people, did really good. I have never heard that those sounds before, until now. All right, um, we're above 1,000 feet, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and try to engage autopilot and engage... Oh, God, all right. Well, I'm not sure why I just pitched this down that much. Let's go ahead and reduce this to climb. And uh, I would like to climb. There we go. It's on throttle climb. Let's see if it actually does climb. And how quickly will it climb? Uh, okay, well, for some reason it's showing vertical speed. But I don't want vertical speed. I want altitude mode. Alright, so it looks like there's still some bugs with... Uh, I'll just increase the vertical speed. It looks like there's still some bugs with the fly-by-wire A320. I should try to get the latest stable version because this is the latest development version and it appears to have some bugs. Um, my performance is actually doing really good. I've never seen it do this good. No stutters yet. Um, sitting right around 40 frames per second. This is ultra graphics guys so that, that's really amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is switch over to like the Boeing 747 and we're going to see and check out the autopilot system with that right, guys, aircraft. we're now in the um, Boeing 747, and uh, I was just messing around with it. It still looks like it's the same bug. Look, if I try to enter KCLT down in the FMC down here as Origin, nothing happens. So that's really weird. If anybody knows why this is happening, uh, please let me know down in the comments, because that is not supposed to happen. And I guess it's not a bug with just the Airbus. It's It looks like it's all the commercial airliners. Anyway, uh, I've got the speed up to 200 and all the auto throttle arm speed hold on and altitude. So let's see what happens whenever we do take off and engage these things. Now, one thing I noticed is I can't engage throttle hold or thrust mode, whatever, which is a little strange. I don't know if that's because I'm on the ground or what. But I'm going to go ahead and take off. Notice it's not yanking me to the right or left either. Yet. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, yep, I rotated a little soon. But that's just fine. Whoa. Alright, can't let off the back pressure. Alright, gear can come up. So we are airborne now. Alright, now I'm going to try. I'm going to get up a little bit higher actually uh, beautiful departure out of Charlotte very nice um, all right well I'm at altitude now so let me try yeah I can't okay well it looks like auto throttle is armed because yeah I can't move it uh, I'm not sure what thrust mode is then uh, we could LNAV VNAV is not going to work because I didn't plug anything in the FMC, but we can do autopilot and engage it there. And it's going to level us off, isn't it? Um, well, in that case, I guess I've got to use vertical speed. Like this right here. So it looks like it's the same issue. I mean, without that FMC, then I'm not going to be able to do anything. Like autopilot wise, other than, yeah, vertical speed and speed hold and even heading hold. I could get heading on and uh, use heading hold, but that's really it. And now look, I just, I moved this. Okay, yeah, stuff, okay, obviously stuff is still really messed up because I just moved my heading over and it's not banking at all. Nothing is 
working. Okay, and I just clicked VNAV, it didn't light up, but vertical speed went away. So, yeah, unfortunately, guys, it doesn't appear that this update fixed anything with the avionics. And we're going to be waiting a while, unless somebody knows why my FMC is doing that crap where I'll enter KCLT and it, nothing happens. But, um, yeah, that was a very small update, guys. So, hopefully, very soon, they're going to fix these issues with the FMCs and autopilots, but... Again, I mean, it is one step closer to a very a perfect, almost perfect simulator. Kind of like X-Plane. There is rarely any bugs with X-Plane. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys have better luck than I did with this update. Uh, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Be on the lookout for more videos regarding MSFS 2020. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more out even with all these dang bugs. I might be live streaming here soon as well, regardless of these bugs. And um, don't forget to join my Discord and check out all my tiers on my Patreon. And both those links are in the description. I will see you guys on the next video.